हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवन फ्रॉम डिजिटल इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 77 मेजर स्मार्टफोन मैन्युफैक्चरर इंक्लूडिंग एसोस रियलमी पोको वीवो एंड माइक्रो मैक्स आर डिलेइंग स्मार्टफोन लॉन्चर्स इन इंडिया रियलमी X7 Max एंड Asus Zenfone 8 सीरीज लॉन्चर्स हैव बीन पोस्टपोन्ड अराउंड 9 स्मार्टफोन्स आर स्लॉटेड टू लॉन्च इन मई 2021 Apple has confirmed that the company has started production of its latest smartphone the iPhone 12 in India at Foxconn's Tamil Nadu plant but not everything is going as per the plan a new report claims the production of iPhone 12 in India has dropped by more than 50% because of the COVID-19 the report citing two sources aware of the matter says that workers infected with COVID-19 have had to leave their post resulting in a drop in production MacBook Air renders have been leaked online. The upcoming MacBook is said to have a thin and lightweight design. The MacBook Air is said to come with a redesigned keyboard, two USB-C ports and an Apple M2 chipset. Asus Zenfone 8 price have been revealed ahead of the launch event. The smartphone will start from 700 euros that is approximately 62500 Indian rupees. Asus Zenfone 8 series launch is set for May 12th. OnePlus recently launched a OnePlus 9 series worldwide. In India, the lineup includes three devices: OnePlus 9, 9 Pro, and 9R. Though all three are 5G support connectivity, there is a caveat. More than a month after the announcement of these handsets, the brand officially explained why the Indian variant of these phones only have limited 5G bands. The OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro sold in India only come with two 5G bands, that they are N41 and N78 respectively, whereas the OnePlus 9 are only as a single 5G band N78. Therefore, it has decided to have the band in its new devices in addition of N41. Also, the company notes that it is not possible to add additional 5G bands via future OTS or for updates Crafton has asked content creators to avoid using the PUBG moniker in relation to Battlegrounds Mobile India. This is the fear because that the game would be banned again. Battlegrounds Mobile India was previously called as PUBG Mobile India. As per the new leak and the image mentions that the Battlegrounds Mobile India hints return of Shenhok by a new poster ahead of the launch. Samsung Galaxy F52 5G live images have been leaked online. The images shows of a punch-hole camera, quad-rear cameras and a 3.5 mm headphone jack. Samsung Galaxy F52 5G launch date is yet to be revealed. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 will carry a similar array of cameras as its predecessor. The major innovation here will be the use of under display camera for a foldable display a 16 megapixel Sony IMX71 with 1 mu meter pixels allowing a seamless big display experience. There will be another selfie camera on the cover display a 10 megapixel Sony IMX374 with 1.22 mu meter pixels inside a punch hole cutout. The rest of the cameras are a trio of 12 megapixel sensors wide ultra wide and a telephoto units the latter is like a 3 times a non periscope one Xiaomi launched the Redmi K40 gaming smartphone in its home country China and now it seems that the company is all set to launch the device in the Indian market under its Poco branding. A tweet from Mukul Sharma claims that the smartphone's battery have been certified by the Bureau of Indian Standard he also had the phone is supposed to be a Poco device Xiaomi announced that Google and Cantor will be revealing its 2021 brand top 50 global brands in China this week. The company shared this on its official Weibo account, a Chinese microblogging website. Looking at the list, the company arrived fourth in the list, just behind Alibaba, ByteDance, and Huawei, that made up to top four of the list. Xiaomi officially added the Chinese brands that have been showing strong growth under the influence of coronavirus pandemic that has affected the entire world. The company also thanked its users across the globe in helping it to achieve this feat. Xiaomi has launched a new improved Mija Smart Mosquito Repellent 2 under crowdfunding in China. The new version takes over the model that was launched last year. Recall that Xiaomi first launched the Mija Mosquito Repellent with a minimalistic design a couple of years back. The Chinese tech giant then reintroduced the same device last year but with the Bluetooth connectivity. This new version takes things to the next level as it comes with not just Bluetooth connectivity but also with Xiaomi AI voice control. The product will be up for grabs via crowdfunding from May 12th. It carries a retail price of 69 yuan that is $11 and the crowdfunding price of 59 yuan that is $9. At the Xiaomi Mega launch event in late March, the company announced a number of products over the two days. One of these was MI Multi Coil Fast Wireless Charging Pad. This accessory is finally on sale in China. This accessory only supports fast wireless charging. In fact, it can only charge three devices at 20 watt each. That's because the maximum input supported by this pad is 120 watt. The Xiaomi MI Multi Coil Fast Wireless Charging Pad with model number MDY13EJ is priced at $93 in China. 
Sony has been producing some of the best noise cancelling headphones from the past several years and now we get a several of actual product images for the upcoming WF1000 XM4 in near earphones. The upcoming XM4S shows a major compact and round design comparing to their predecessor. We can see rubber tips as well as openings for the microphones. There's a speculation that Sony will also bring high resolution audio support. Oppo Reno6 Pro and Reno6 Pro Plus have been spotted on a TINA certification platform. Oppo Reno6 series launch date is tipped to be on May 22nd. Key specifications include a 6.55 inch display, quad camera setup and a 5G connectivity. The Red Magic 6R specifications have appeared on the US FCC website. The smartphone will feature a 4100 mAh battery, 8 GB of RAM, 128 GB of storage, 4 rear cameras and a Bluetooth 5.2. We can also expect it to feature a high screen refresh rate and a Qualcomm chipset. Realme Narzo 30 is confirmed to ship with a 5000mAh battery and a 30W fast charging. The recent leaked hands-on video revealed the entire design and specifications. Realme Narzo 30 launches on May 18th in Malaysia. Realme Narzo 30 specifications could include a 6.5-inch 90Hz display and it also comes with a MediaTek Helio G95 processor. It has a 48MP camera. Lava Z2 has been launched in India. This phone is the latest budget offering in the company's Z series lineup. Lava Z2 Max price in India is set at Rs. 7,799. Lava Z2 Max specifications include a 7 inch display, MediaTek Helio A20 processor, and it runs on Android 10 as its OS. Good news for the PlayStation fans, it seems like the elusive console might be available for pre-order next week. A user in a WhatsApp group informed us about a Sony authorized dealers that posted a banner on their website. The banner claims that the Sony PlayStation 5 will be available for pre-order from May 17th, 12 pm onwards. Do note that the disc edition is priced at Rs 49,990 and the digital edition is priced at Rs 39,990 Indian rupees. After months of speculation and rumors, Callpay's Nothing brand is set to unveil its first set of true wireless earbuds next month. The Nothing Ear One will be the first product by the up-and-coming tech brand, though we don't really get any specifications or details apart from an illustration dissipating two earbuds with shockingly long stems. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share, and subscribe, and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.